you never need to ask somebody to treat you better. Hey, it's Anna. So why this person won't change? They literally will not change just because you want them to. Like when you think about yourself and you think about when you want to make a change, it's because you've decided it. If somebody tells you what to do, if somebody tries to force you to do something, like I know when I was younger, my mum would try and get me to do something and I literally could feel my whole body tense up and I would get so mad. I didn't want to do it just purely because she told me to. Like I want to be able to do things myself. I didn't want somebody telling me to do it so you know when you've been in that situation yourself that you need to want to do it for yourself like the person will not change unless they decide to you know and the fact that you feel the need to force them that you feel the need to like constantly tell them where they're going wrong and where you need them to correct themselves that literally proves to you that they're not going to that they don't want to because if they wanted to, it would happen easily and naturally and you wouldn't have to ask. You never need to ask somebody to treat you better. Like, you should never need to ask. And if you do need to ask, then, I mean, asking once, maybe. But if you have to keep asking, like, that's a choice that they're making, you know? They're choosing to do something that you've already made clear hurts your feelings or, like, disrespects you in some way like when you've made that clear you've laid out your boundaries you've told the person exactly what you need then for them to go against that like they know what they're doing they know that they're doing something that isn't gonna please you or that is gonna hurt you even like they know that it's going against you because you've already made it clear so if you need to tell them more than once fucking set yourself free like you don't need that dead energy constantly like I've been there I know I know exactly how like you get caught up in that cycle of really hoping and wishing and thinking that they would change but if they were going to change they would have done it the first time if they were going to change they would have done it before they even met you like if in order to change, your mindset needs to be there. It needs to be ready and prepared and wanting and willing to change, you know? It needs to be open to it. So if they were going to change and become the potential that you see, they would have done that before they even met you. They would have been there right when you met them. That's what, that's the kind of version of themselves they would have presented to you. And when you really look at it, they probably didn't. And if they did, you would have still seen the signs of that not being something that they actually are and something that they've presented to you. The signs are always there, you know. We see them, but we brush them off. Especially somebody like me, a little Pisces, you know. We always see people's potential. So it's very, very easy to do and very, like, uh, it's just such a cycle. But once you're aware of their behaviour, like, they're literally showing you themselves. Their behaviour is revealing to you who they are. So pay attention, that is the sign, like they are the signs, their behaviour is the sign that you're looking for. So look at their damn behaviour because it's telling you, it's literally revealing to you where their mind is, exactly who they are, exactly the type of person that they choose to be, their actions are revealing that to you. Not just their words, because words don't mean anything. People go against their words all the time. Look at their patterns. Look at their behaviour. Look at exactly what they're doing. Look at how their words contradict their actions. Look at all of those things, because that is the sign for you that tells you exactly who they are. And you cannot change who they are, you know? You have to just see them as who they are and accept them as who they are and love them for who they are but that doesn't mean that you have to stay with somebody that doesn't treat you right if who they are is somebody that disrespects you then why the hell would you ever want to give them your time of day like why would you even want them in your life you can't make them treat you better but if they're not willing to treat you better why are they even around you, you know? And I know that that's really easy to say, and I've been in situations where, like, I kept hoping for their potential, like, so bad. I was like, please, I know you can be better than this. Please just be it. But you can't get them to be it. Their mind isn't even aware of it. They may not even be aware of the potential that they could reach. Like, they may not have a clue, 
that they could be this really amazing, righteous, decent human being. Like, they may not have a clue that they could ever be that. They just can't see it. They probably already think that they're that. And they don't realise because they're not aware of their own flaws. They're not even aware of the hurt that they cause and the harm that they put on to other people. Like, some people are literally so unaware of themselves that they don't even realise the level of pain that they cause. Like, and that's just real. Like, it is what it is. But that doesn't mean that you have to put up with that kind of behaviour. And that doesn't mean that you have to stay with somebody like that and be stuck with somebody like that. Because you know in your heart that you deserve more. You know in your heart that this doesn't feel good. That who they are presenting to you, who they are allowing themselves to be, doesn't bring happiness to you. It doesn't fulfil you. It doesn't bring love. It doesn't bring kindness. And if that's who you're being, if you're trying to better yourself and be full of love and like positivity and kindness, when like if you're trying to express that to people and you're constantly met with this person that brings you down, that makes you feel unworthy, this drilling, I swear. This whole video is going to be cut up so much because there's so much drilling going on and I can't even deal with it today. If you're constantly met with this person that literally brings you down and makes you feel so unworthy and so shit about yourself, like, you're just going to stay stuck in that cycle. And why would you ever want to be around that kind of energy, you know? You're not going to be able to flourish and be your best self when you're constantly pulled down by somebody that treats you like shit. And that isn't even sorry. That isn't even aware of what they're doing. Because if they were sorry, they would not continue doing it, you know? If they could comprehend the pain that they caused, they would not continue doing it. And that's not to say that, like, that's an excuse for them, the fact that they can't comprehend it. No, like, they should be able to fucking well comprehend it. But they can't because they're not open to it. And you just have to let them be, you know? If that person is not in alignment with who you are and what you want, set yourself free and set them free too. Let it go. Because if it's meant to be, and they're supposed to like come back to you as the elevated person that you really want, it will happen. But you holding on is not gonna bring that to you. It's literally just gonna keep you suffering. It's not gonna bring them, it's not gonna make them change. It's not gonna work. Like it really won't make them change. They have to want to change. And maybe you leaving them will be the catalyst to them actually realizing where they fucked up. Maybe that will get them to finally look at themselves and see what they're doing, like see how they're treating people, see where they're going wrong, and then maybe they will elevate that. But maybe they won't. Maybe you'll set them free and they'll continue running around in their misery. But then you don't have to be around that, you know? You get to flourish and you get to be your best self and live an amazing life without that shit weighing you down. So, you really can't change people. Like, it's hard enough to even change our damn selves, let alone trying to change somebody else. You can't change them. You have no idea what they're thinking in the head. You have no idea what level of emotion that they feel. You have no idea how they process their emotions. Like, you can see how they react, yeah, you can see their actions, but you, you aren't them. You can't feel it. You can't hear it. You're not, you're not feeling their five senses, you know? So... You can't change them because you can't even comprehend fully where they're at. But what you can figure out and what you can see and what you can gain awareness of is how you feel when you're around them, how your connection feels, how interacting with them makes you feel. So if it makes you feel shit, let them go. You're literally wasting your time trying to change people. It's just not going to happen. Like, even me sitting here making these videos to help people, this is to help people. You could you could say that things that I say may change people, but people are only going to change if they want to. You could watch this video, right? One person could watch this video, right? and it could completely flip something in their mind, and then they start to change their lives. But somebody else could watch this and think it's a complete load of shit, not get it, not care to get it, not like not be interested at all. But that's all based on them because they're both receiving the same information, you know, it's the same video. So it really is about yourself and for them it's about themselves and only they can do it for them. 
you can't do it for them. You can only do it for you. You can only change yourself. So focus on changing yourself, bettering yourself, and then watch the people that match that come into your life and let go of anybody that doesn't. And I know it's not easy to let go. I have got a video on how to leave toxic relationships. That might help some of you if you're dealing with that kind of situation. And I'll probably make more on like the letting go and surrendering and that kind of thing. But you have to just let them go. They're telling you who they are. They're literally revealing to you who they are. You know, we don't need to control them. This is who they are right now. If that doesn't align with who you are, it's not for you right now. Who knows what will happen in the future? They may change, you may change, who knows? And if it's meant to be, it will come back. But for right now, does it feel good? For right now, does it match your needs? For right now, when you're around them, like what happens? What does it feel like? How do they treat you? What are the sh things that they do? Like, you know, you already know, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this damn video. <laughs> I'm just saying. But, yeah, so you can't change anyone. It's just a waste of time. Complete waste of time. We have to focus on changing ourselves and stop trying to control the external world. You can't change other people. You can't control other people. You can't control the way the world is completely. Like, we can't control all of these external things. We can change ourselves. And if all of us were to change ourselves, like the entire world... Can you imagine the difference it would make in our connections, in the way we treat each other, in the way we treat animals, in the way we treat the world? Like, can you imagine the difference that it would make? But it all has to start with each individual person. So don't worry about changing them. Focus on changing you. Let them go because you're going to meet a million fucking people in this world. Like, there's so many people. You're going to meet people that literally match everything that you are and everything that you want, you know? You're just trying to change a dead person and it's not going to happen. <laughs> and I mean dead in the fact that they're like completely unconscious, like they're not aware of themselves and they're just reacting to the external. So set yourself free, girl or guy. But yes, I'm really sorry about this video being so, oh my God. Sorry about this video being so choppy, it's because my neighbours are drooling and of course they would decide to do it when I'm filming. So this video is probably like cut up loads because I had to keep stopping and starting. But anyway, we got there in the end. So thank you so much for watching. I also want to say um, if you go to my website and sign up to my newsletter, then you will get so many updates from me, like personal updates first before anyone else gets them and you'll get like exclusive stuff behind the scenes and all of that kind of stuff and also all links to my um music is on there too so yeah all of that information will be in the description box below thank you so much for watching definitely leave me any comments if you want to like carry on the conversation anything that you're going through or any feedback as well for these videos but let's keep it nice because we are not having any negative bullshit around here, okay? I don't need your projections. I don't care for them. I'm not bringing mine to you. You don't need to bring me yours, okay? So let's keep this supporting of each other. Not just of me, but of each other, like everybody. So yeah. This fucking drilling. Are you done? So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I need a man that will hold me down If he a yes man, I ain't keeping him around I need a real